guys welcome back to my channel it's taisha thank you so much for clicking on today's video i don't know why i went like that today i wanted to talk about a new drugstore makeup i haven't done this type of video in a while so i wanted to do my makeup and hang out with you guys so you know i have beauty creations ColourPop, nyx just a bunch of new products so if you're interested in today's video then keep on watching so i'm gonna begin by doing my brows i never do my brows on camera because I just hate the way they always look but today i have a new product from ColourPop to test out this is the feather effect styling wax and i got this in the shade clear this is supposed to be like a dupe for the abh brow what is it called brow freeze which i love you guys know i struggle with my brows all the time and this just does something it's like magic and little container so i love using this i'd rather buy this than the nyx one that i used to like i feel like this one holds it more like and longer so ColourPop released like their own little product the only thing about this is that you do have to like pre-moisturize it and then go in with Riscoli so they do sell it like in a little duo or you can also use the brow like this from a brow pencil that's usually what i do i also have this new toner from physicians formula this is called the essence of healthy toner and setting spray i believe it doesn't have any alcohol which is really good so i'm gonna be spraying this into my skin and it just feels really really refreshing because right here my skin feels a little bit drier so i am going to be using the same toner and just wetting the color pop one when i use it like twice and i'm gonna use this spoolie that it comes with i'm just gonna go back and forth so this is what i like to do i like to go like this i like to wait a couple of seconds and then i like to grab my pinkies and i go like this i like to grab my pinkies oh my god <laughs> I like to use my fingers and I like to go like this. I haven't done my makeup in so long, you guys. So I am super excited to play with makeup and have some fun. I've been dealing with finals and taking five classes. Girl, man, it's something I'm never doing in my life ever again. I thought I could handle it, which I, I mean, I did. And thankfully I passed all my classes. I got three A's, one B and one C. Let's not talk about that C, but I passed. I still pass, but yeah it was so hard because of the group projects i didn't know i had group projects but i am in my senior year for business marketing that's my major in case anybody's wondering i'm gonna do like a whole q a because i want to you know talk to you guys do like a mini life update and i feel like q a's help you know the person a lot more so yeah that's where i have been i've been just extremely stressed congrats to the class of 2021 by the way it is just hard you guys i'm never taking five classes i'm telling you right now it's just not happening i like to go in with my benefit brow pencil um i also really like the huda beauty one in the shade soft black this is amazing but i ran out of it like i don't have anything left and this is expensive i wish it was a little bit more affordable but i highly highly recommend it it's perfect to create um like feather like hair if that makes sense so i'm just gonna use this one from benefit I feel like Benefit brow products are also worth the money. They're really good. They are more expensive, but I feel like they help make the brows look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so my eyeshadow, oh my eyeshadow, my eyebrows are done. I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. I do have this new palette from NYX. It's called the Ultimate Shadow Palette in the Festival Edition. You guys know I love sunsets. I love island. I'm an island girl myself, so I love this palette already. So I'm going to go ahead and create like a smoky sunset makeup look. That's like the vibe I'm going for today. Um, I am going to prime my eye using the beauty creations there to be bright color based primer they came out with a bunch of different shades you guys know beauty creations is like killing it i've been telling you since last year when they released their lashes that they're gonna become like such a good brand so i'm just gonna apply a little bit a little bit goes a long way so like one little dot and this is what i'm gonna use as a base i am gonna go ahead and just do a voiceover over this because i feel like it's gonna take me a long time and you guys know I talk a lot and I don't want to waste your time. So I'm just going to do this as a voiceover so the video is in too long. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover. Right now I'm just blending everything with my AOA Studio Brush from Shop Miss A. Which are some of the best brushes ever in case you guys haven't tried them. Um, and then I'm going to grab that beautiful pink purple-ish shade. I don't know, it's really really pretty. 
and I'm just gonna put that on my crease and then I'm gonna blend everything out with the e.l.f. tapered blending brush and I'm going in with that beautiful curl coral shade um, and it's just gonna create like such a pretty sunset I don't know it's such a beautiful like color combination and then later you will see that I'm gonna go in with the yellow shade I feel like yellow it's like the perfect transition color especially for colorful eyeshadows Okay, so I'm just going to keep blending that and then I am going to cut the crease. So I like to remove a little bit of the eyeshadow so like that my base doesn't turn into like a lilac shade. You can also get like a q-tip and do that step but I was just too lazy to go grab one so I just did it that way. And I'm using the same Beauty Creations eye base and then I did go in with the Hank and Henry Bianca palette. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's such a beautiful tie-dye matte eyeshadow palette. Let me know if you guys would like to see like a whole video on that palette and if you do let me know what color I should use so I'm basically just blending everything out doing what I did to the crease to the lid I don't know if you guys can hear but my computer is starting to overheat so it's like doing little like fans but um, I'm gonna go in with the yellow I feel like one eye turned out like better than the other one you guys will see later on but do not judge me okay so I just did that and then I am gonna do like a smoky liner because it just looks really cute and like date night are on i love 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 the this look how it looked with lashes i feel like it's such a pretty like sunset smoky liner look so i'm gonna move on to the rest of my face i do have some products to test out i actually have a lot of products so i picked up the beauty creations powder foundation i got a lot of requests to test this out blah, blah, blah can talk so this is the beauty creations flawless day powder foundation this is only ten dollars you guys like that is so affordable and i feel like the shade range isn't that good which is why i picked up so many i bought four of them so i bought the shade two because i wanted it to like set my under eye and then i also got the shade six seven and eight so i am gonna swatch them on my skin so you guys can see how it looks like so this is supposed to give you buildable coverage a velvet matte finish multi-use long wear and oil free I seen this all over Instagram and I think TikTok, but I don't have a TikTok, so I just see like the repo. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes with the mirror and then it has this, which I like. So you can put your beauty sponge like that and then you can just throw it in your bag. So I'm going to show you guys how this shade in number six. This is six. As you guys can see, it's super, super light. And then I also have seven. I hope the lighting is good, you guys. I haven't filmed a tutorial with this setup, so I don't know how the lighting is looking like. If it's bad, I will fix it in the next video. But oh yeah, look, this is seven and this is eight. So as you can see, I feel like seven and eight are more my match. Seven, it's a lot more neutral and then eight, it's a lot more warm. So for all my foundation tools out there, I say get two shades. I say get seven and eight so you can mix them up. I feel like it just matches me a lot, lot better. So that's what it looks like. And you see when I go like that, it just blends really nicely and it creates like my perfect matte. I'm gonna use my hard candy one. This one, I feel like it's really good. It's called the Smoothing Balm, right? Yeah, the Primer Balm. And it just smooths out the pores. So I'm just gonna add that, especially right here on the cheeks. That's where I have the most pores don't like to apply a lot of makeup in my forehead i just apply a little bit and i call it a day i feel like the forehead shows if you're wearing a lot of makeup so i don't like to apply a lot of makeup there i'm going to use the shade number seven i saw the videos they go like this a little bit goes a long way you guys be really careful because this will look extremely cakey so i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like that's one layer and then i like to like pat it around you see, I, I just feel like this isn't made for people with a lot of texture. Either way, I personally like to use powder foundation in top 
of already foundations i feel like that gives me the most flawless poreless finish ever that's like a tip in case you guys have texture like me that works a lot better but i feel like number seven does does match me really nice let me know what you guys think but with a sponge like this it looks a lot a lot better yeah you see i'm liking this a lot better than with this i wouldn't use this because i have a lot of texture so it emphasizes it i am impressed you see this is why i like doing and testing products out more than once so i can see how they work better for me so definitely i will go with the sponge and i will go and buy both shades this is what i look like a little bit closer and zoomed in I feel like it looks 10 times better with the sponge. It gives you less of like that cakey feeling and look. So if you guys have texture, apply a poreless like blurring primer and then go over it with this, like a damp beauty sponge and it will give you such a pretty flawless finish. It reminds me a lot of the MAC powders, but 10 times better. And I love those MAC powders. I don't know if you're supposed to add concealer afterwards or what. I don't really use powder foundation just as foundation so i guess we'll see but i think i messed up i think you apply concealer and then you apply powder foundation next time i try this powder out by itself i'll definitely do my concealer first and then i'll do like the powder foundation but i don't feel like it looks like that honestly i feel like everything's looking good i was a little bit scared that i messed up um but i feel like it looks really really pretty it looks even it doesn't look cakey maybe a little bit around right here but again i would recommend you apply concealer and then you apply the powder foundation and then you know go on from there so i am gonna set my face i do have this new setting powder i finally found it after like two months this is the heart candy chilling wonder powder i feel like i say chilling weird so this is a hydrating setting powder it's supposed to feel like water just like the becca one i don't know if you guys remember that one this is the packaging by the way heart candy it's one of my favorite affordable brands and i feel like they were going for that same effect as the becca one so this is the color it's like a nice like a little bit of neutral shade more on like the beige but definitely has like some pink undertones so I'm just gonna use this and set my face. It's a really natural looking powder, super fine. So I think this is gonna be perfect if you have dry skin and you're at the drugstore and you're looking for a powder. I feel like you're gonna love this. It's super lightweight. It works great with like a powder foundation like this because it doesn't make it look, you know, cakier. It just feels like water. Like it's such a cool feeling. It's really refreshing. This is from Juvia's Place. It's called the Bronze the bronze palette i guess yeah and i got this in the shade medium and i like how it comes with the mirror i also like how like small it is and not only that it comes with two matte bronzers thank god because i hate shimmery bronzers i'm a matte girl so i have a whole dedicated video by the way you guys on my favorite drugstore bronzers in case you guys haven't seen that one and i feel like this one is really really good so it gives you a medium olive color and then it gives you like a red really nice color for like tanning like a nice tan shade you see that that nice warm olive shade it gives you it's really really pretty if you guys have like similar skin tone to me and i also like how they do have other colors as well like other shade palette i also picked up this new palette from ColourPop. so this is called the cheek palette in the shade cookie cluster I feel like it gives you very like Dior vibes, but a lot more affordable, which I am grateful for. So it gives you a highlighter, a shimmering blush, and then two mattes. Hopefully they can come out with an all matte palette. You guys just know me. I just love everything matte. So I'm going to apply this color. And they are pigmented, so be really careful. But I feel like they give you like the perfect amount of color. This is a must for summer. So I'm just going and applying it going up you guys see how it like brightens up my face um let me finish the eyes so i'm just gonna repeat what i did to the top i'm going in with like a really nice soft brush this is from bh cosmetics x nasanin so i'm gonna go in with the first purple shade i applied and i'm just gonna smudge that all over my lower lash line okay and then i'm gonna go in with the second darkest purple and again, I'm just going to smoke it in my lower lash line. Just be really careful, you guys, not to get this inside your eye. Because this is technically not an eye-safe palette. They are pressed pigments. 
So this is something you do for fun like once and you know, don't overdo it since I told you guys I did use this palette before I did notice it does stain your eyes you know just like any other colorful palette so you know keep that in mind and then lastly I'm gonna go in with the yellow shade and I'm just gonna smoke that I feel like I have the perfect eyeliner to go with this so I'm gonna use the LA girls pastel dream liner in the shade lavender these are a must I keep telling you go get these they're perfect to add to any colorful look and they're very creamy, but it tickles. So I'm gonna go in with the shade two. I don't know if you guys remember, I told you I got a shade lighter. So it's right here. I'm just gonna use, I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. And you guys see how pigmented this powder is. Do not underestimate this powder. It is really pigmented, so it gives you a lot of coverage. So I'm just gonna use this to lighten up my face you guys see how pretty it is we need a yellow shade a banana shade so i have a new lip liner from la girl this is called the gingerbread shockwave nude lip liner it's actually not called that that's the shade of the pencil so this reminds me a lot of the huda beauty because they're super creamy and they're like a gel like lip liner so they're really really comfortable to use i'm just gonna line my lips with this and I feel like the shade is perfect also for lip gloss because when I'm wearing lip gloss, I like to wear like a more neutral color, not so dark. And then I am going to go over it with my Sweet Tea from Morphe. And then I also have this new Velvet Stay from Make Beauty Creations. This is called Stay Calm and they're really nice they're not sticky they're lightweight they don't feel heavy on the lips at all last but not least i also picked up the new nyx this is milky gloss in the shade milk and honey so this i think it's like i don't know if it's a new formula or what but i don't feel like it has the same scent as the original butter glosses but i like how they're not sticky and i also love the applicator when you want your lips to look super glossy i recommend you kind of grab the product and you just place it. So I'm not rubbing it on or anything. I'm just placing the lip gloss and it will look a lot shinier and a lot like glossy lips. All right, guys. So this is the final look for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy this smoky, sexy sunset island vibe. I don't even know what to call it but i overall really enjoyed every product the eyeshadow keep in mind it's not eye safe it even says it on the back a lot of the eyeshadows pretty much everything i use are pressed pigments but the quality was very very nice so if you don't care about that i feel like you are gonna like this palette um i feel like nyx created a really pigmented beautiful palette so i do like that the shimmers are not that good so i will just buy it if you're into the matte i also really really enjoyed the bronzer and the color pop blush this is actually something i'm gonna be adding to my everyday like makeup drawer and also the press powders from beauty creations this is something i love i will recommend once again the shade seven and eight and also two to brighten up the look you know and that's 30 dollars, and they have a lot of different coupon codes so i think overall it's very nice price formula is bomb the coverage is really nice it doesn't feel heavy it actually feels like secure and perfect for the summertime and the lip combo i love i love the gloss lip liner everything i just love so yeah guys that is it thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me in today's video let me know what you guys think of this product below and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys